Benny? Your new mother-in-law's a piece of work. Not now, Dad. She's got a bigger mustache than me. Here you go. Here you go? What am I, a football? Like that guy could catch a football. Howard and Bernadette. The five of us stand before you as your friends and newly ordained ministers. Louder! <laughs> they all got ordained! They're all marrying us! It's adorable! If you want to hear, come closer! <clears throat> Guys, when I look at the two of you starting your lives together, it fills my heart. It fills my heart. Okay, I'm gonna need a minute. Okay, I'll, I'll go. <clears throat> Howard and Bernadette, I know you two plan on getting married in a big fancy wedding, but when you're in love, it doesn't matter where or how these things happen. It just matters that you have each other. Hmm. <laughs> Problem? <laughs> no. I think the Reverend Hofstadter is making an ironic connection between your statement about love and your rejection of his proposal in the bedroom. Oh, grow up. I, I didn't say it. All right, that's enough from the both of you. Well, he started it. Well, I'm ending it. <laughs> Bernadette, I want to thank you for allowing me to be your maid of honor. I also want you to know that I will be happy to do it again if this marriage craps out. <laughs> Thank you, Amy. Very touching. <laughs> Howard and Bernadette, you are lucky enough to be best friends who love each other. And that's the strongest kind of love, because at its core, it has kindness, patience, and respect. Qualities that are hard to find in people these days. <laughs> Would you like some aloe vera? You just got burned. <laughs> All right, my turn. <clears throat> Howard, Bernadette. Dach Daj Mokha. Shelton, I told you don't cling on. <laughs> Fine, I'll do it in English, but it loses something. <laughs> The need to find another human being to share one's life with has always puzzled me. Maybe because I'm so interesting all by myself. With that being said, may you find as much happiness with each other as I find on my own. The Klingon would have made you cry. I believe you two have prepared vows. Joel Wallowitz, like you, this is going to be short and sweet. <laughs> I love you with all my heart and soul and promise to be with you forever. Bernadette, Marianne, Rostenkowski. Speak up! Wait, from now on, she's the only woman who can yell at me! <laughs> Until I met you, I couldn't imagine spending my life with just one person. <laughs> and now I can't imagine spending one day of it without you. By the power vested in us, by the state of California and the Klingon High Council, we now pronounce you husband and wife.